Hey guys, ready for our daily devotional. It is for September 14th and the title is Res The Resurrection and the Life. Jesus told Martha, who was very sad about the death of her brother, that he is the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in him will live even though they die. If you believe in Jesus, the promise of eternal life is yours too. Martha, when Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would, have, would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, the ri he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord. She told him, I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Then she returned to Mary. She called Mary aside from the mourners and told her, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. Jesus had stayed outside the village at the place where Martha met him. When the people who were at the house counseling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus Lazarus's grave to weep. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would have not died. That's in John 11, 20 to 32. Yeah, that's a really good one. So like, before, when my sister passed away I I felt that way like like I never prayed so hard in my life and she still God still took her even like everybody was praying so hard but God still took her I just was kind of like mad I guess for a while I'm still trying to understand but you know, I, I'm I think I'm like kinda getting over it because I'm starting to read this book and starting to pray again. So yeah, it's getting better for me. But that's a really good one. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to September 15th. That's from death to life. Jesus was so sad about the death of Lazarus that he cried. After that, he went to Lazarus' grave and raised him from the dead. After he had been dead for four days, Jesus fulfilled his promise to Martha. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him, and he was deeply troubled. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Jesus. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't, have, couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb. 
a cave with a stone road across the en its entrance. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus responded, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus took up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing there so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes his face wrapped in the head cloth. Jesus told him, unwrap him and let him go. That would be in John 11, 33 to 44. That was a good story. Um, and for tomorrow, we have only one way to heaven. That should be a really good one. And if you guys are new here, this is the book that I am reading from. And I really hope you guys are enjoying this. And then I shall see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Take care and God bless.